We carry a lot of propane with us most of the time, and so we might as well take advantage of that and empower some of our other accessories and, and appliances, like a barbecue. No sense carrying around those little small green uh, canisters, which can pretty, be pretty costly, and you have to have storage for it. All you have to do is get an extend flow and hook it up to your existing propane system. Show us how it's Boy, done, Bill. And, and I enjoy my extend flow, and of course the barbecue, the steaks are awesome. I but know, right, anyway, right. Yeah. Um, uh, here's the Acme extend flow here. As you can see, it's got the Acme fittings on both sides, mm -hmm. and then your hose goes on this side. For those of you that have a motorhome, we have this type here. You actually pull a POL right out of the shutoff valve, put this right in place, attach the hose to that. Right, and then you take this hose, and you get these hoses into the five foot section or 12 foot section, and they connect to this section right here, okay? And if you look here, this is exactly the same fitting that's on the top of those throwaway canisters. Now, one thing you have to keep in mind that, that more is not better. You get five feet, up to 12 feet. You cannot run any more than 12 feet in high pressure because you'll leach out the oil and you'll end, end up plugging up your accessories and your, your regulator. So, and that's the reason why you can't buy these things more than 12 feet long. So, hey, want me to show you how to install this? Let's go for All it. All right, here. Yeah. Because this one's Acme, <clears throat> make sure that the propane's off first. Because it's an Acme fitting, I don't even need a wrench. On the motorhome one, you're gonna need a wrench. They make these in straighter angled, and you can see that the angled one really is a little bit more convenient. We're gonna tighten that. We're a little bit tight in here, but I think I can make it fit. We're there. Give me the hose, right, Bob. There you go. Loosen the cap here. And Make sure you put the cap on because it keeps the dust out. The orifice inside this hose is really tiny. It really doesn't take much dust to plug this thing up. If you hold that in, it'll kind of keep it out of the dirt. So we're gonna install this end on here. Make sure it's snug, it's got a gasket in there. Doesn't need to be so tight that you can't get it loose. Now, I have the propane off at the cylinder up there because this hose is high pressure, so it'd be filled with quite a bit of pressure, make it a little bit more difficult to install. Make sure it's snug, doesn't need to be tight. Turn the propane on, and man, we're ready to barbecue. Where's the steaks? Wait a minute, I was gonna ask you that, where are the steaks? Hmm, I'll okay, go well get them. You, you go get the steaks. Meanwhile, well, I think we've summed it up. Propane is efficient, it's clean, it's economical, it's safe, and it's a lot of fun to have along uh, on board. Yeah, and you know what? We really, I wouldn't want to know, I own an RV without propane. This is, it wouldn't be fun. If we didn't have the accessories and if we didn't have the appliances, we wouldn't have an RV. We could sleep out on a yeah, tent. Yeah, we might as well just have yeah. a tent or I mean, maybe gotta, even a camper. And so anyway, thanks very much for joining us for the ABCs of RVs. And Bill, yep. we'll see you next rare, time. Medium rare, please. The medium rare? Yeah. You got it. Are you going to do that? I'll get the sides. Uh, I'll get it. Let's do it.